Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. We are just a few hours away from Hurricane Ian making landfall here in Florida. So, what better way to celebrate that than another cool building video. <clears throat> so today we're going to look at making a garage and uh, for the uh, Exocraft. And we're going to use this roamer here as an example for the actual garage. What I had to do to start things off is make a basic um, group of triangles like that. And I took the the roamer that I wanted to put in there, switch to the wire, and then just placed it pretty much dead center right on it, okay? Once that was done, or actually, I'm sorry, before that was done, I had done another entire row of the triangles surrounding it so we have you know it doubly thick uh, in this instance I once that was done I put up two half walls and then a big floor and then another triangle here to be able to merge this into the actual um, garage itself all right so Let's get to building. All right, so we'll go back into our building mode here, and we are going to reinstall this little center portion here. Good. All right, that's awesome. And now that that's done, we'll just continue to work around the perimeter of it. See, it's trying to. There we go. It was trying to lock in on the uh, bottom one, which is still under there. And we're almost done. I'll tell you, sometimes the uh, the way things clip in can be a little challenging here. All right, done, done, and done. Cool. So we can get rid of this now, we won't need it anymore, and um, get rid of that upper one. In fact, let's get rid of this entire setup here, because that's just going to get in our way. And we'll go ahead and get the bike out of the way as well. So as you see, we merged the uh, actual summoning pad into the floor here. And still leaves a little bit of it, you know, revealed. But it looks kind of cool. It's perfectly centered all the way around. And that's how that wire uh, building glitch works. And it, it's a huge help for something like that. So next up... Let's just finish off putting walls around the bottom, these little tiny walls. Give 
give it a nice look to it. I think ExoCraft are one of the uh, parts of this game that really needs a renovation. Um, they just don't get the love that everything else gets. You don't have enough... Um, you can't expand them and make them... You know, give them larger cargo holds or anything like that. That's something that definitely needs to be addressed in a future update. And hopefully it will. You know, we'll see how uh, Hello Games uh, deals with that. They... Uh, tend to be pretty good with stuff like that, you know. They, uh, uh... What am I doing? Okay. We're gonna choose a specific type of wall. I like this mid-wall. It's very industrial looking. So I'm gonna build that up around. On all but one side. And again, the, uh... The snap points are just brutal. Just gotta angle yourself right. Leave that open over there for the entryway. All right, that's looking pretty good so far, right? Let's go ahead and summon this puppy back in. I just want to see. Yeah, we're going to want to go up another level of walls. But now, you know, now we can play a little bit of jazz, right? We can um, look at some different options here as far as what we want to do. But first off, let's go ahead and... Oh, is it not going to let us? Ooh, that's going to be tough. I'll right, we'll worry about that later. All right, so I want to bring this in a little bit. Maybe instead of using another wall... We'll do something like these sloping roof panels, right? These are kind of sharp. And they will give this kind of a, a dome-like appearance. Do another level on top, right? Uh, get in there, baby. There we go. Yeah, the snap points, oof, they are atrocious. goodness. Hmm. Oh, we had it, had it. Get in there. We had it. Now there's a superheated rainstorm coming. Yeah, you can see. Uh, there we go. There's one. There's two. And it kind of creates an interesting pattern, you know. I know they uh, cross over and all that and and all, but the way these uh, pieces all fit together, it does create a pretty cool look, right? have a little fun with that. Alright, so we're getting up to the top here. So, one thing we're going to do real quick is slap down a couple walls here. Just so we can get the roofs put in. And, um, 
then we'll take them out. And again, don't forget to play with the colors a little bit, you know, to customize your build and make it look the way you want. Oh, that was just remarkably easy. Because there are a lot of options as far as uh, the different ways you can, uh, you know, color your, your items and all that and give your base a unique look. There we go, there's that. If you do put an archway in, you'll need to fill in the wall around it. I don't I think we may have screwed up there though. Let's see. Oh yeah, we definitely screwed up. But we can still get out. That's funny. Alright, well yeah, we're gonna take that archway down. That's not working. I mean it works, but I don't like it aesthetically because of uh, the fact that the vehicle's so tall. In fact, we may have a little bit of trouble. With that roof there. And it's okay. That works. Alright, so here we go. Now we're getting up to the top layer here. And now we could put a uh, roof on top. Let's see. I don't know if these will... I don't think these will work. Is there a way we can make it work? Whoa, did we get struck by lightning? Alright. We're going to take a moment and we'll come back after the storm's over. Alright, well, storm's clearing up, but look at this, man. I think lightning struck right in here. And these look like storm crystals, but... You can't interact with them, and, like, the mining beam does nothing with them. You ever seen anything like that? No, me neither. All right. So, let's get back to roofing this thing up and uh, finishing off the look of this place. So it's coming along, you know, not so bad. All right, so we want to make sure we are consistent across... And I don't think, yeah, that one doesn't line up properly, right? There we go. See, we're trying to get it to line up with all of the uh, little outcropping parts of that last roof we put up. So there we go. There we go. Yeah, you end up using a lot more... Uh, lot more pieces than you normally would you know for just a regular old average build but hey if it creates a cool look I say it's worth it and yeah that's kind of a cool look right gives us a neat little star pattern at the top Now, the way this ship, or the uh, vehicle actually faces when I spawn it in, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to take it down those two walls and put them here instead. That way the vehicle's facing in the right direction when it spawns in. And I do want to ramp for it. Um, not sure. Can I get that in there? It does not want to connect there. Maybe these little ones will do it. Yeah. I didn't need to get rid of that wall. But yeah, so now you got a ramp that you can go down. So you can just hop into your little... Roamer, take off, drive around. 
and I come right back in. It is a little... I don't know what just happened there. Wow, I got out. Okay. <laughs> Be careful how you get out of your vehicle. All right, let's get back in there. So there you have the basic infrastructure. Now you can have fun with it. You know, you can put in some lighting if you want. Um, you could put in some cool stuff like... Uh, make it look like tools and whatnot in there. You know, you got some of these... Uh, Little crates and little shelving can go in. Perfect. Uh, uh, what else can we put in here that'll give it some nice aesthetics? I know. There you go. Nice little generator just in case. Uh, you need to charge a battery up on it, right? A couple tires. Heck, you could even put your Exocraft guy in here if you wanted to. And, um, you know, make this his little workshop garage type deal. I'd recommend throwing in some lighting and running some power to it and all that. And just to... Uh, you know, finish off the aesthetics of it. But that's really the basics on how to merge this uh, summoning, you know, this Exocraft summoning uh, station into a floor and to build a nice little legitimate um, garage around it. Now, what we could do if we wanted, if uh, we so desired, we could extend this out and make a large garage for the various different units, which would be super cool. Um, or separate units, you know, you could put one of these on one world, one on another, as long as you have a freighter, and that freighter has the uh, Exocraft summoning room on it, then you only need one of these on a planet somewhere, because uh, your freighter will allow you to summon it, any craft that has one of those somewhere on any other planet when it's in the system, which is really super cool. So... I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. This is definitely the last thing I'm recording before the storm hits because it's I'm going to be here in a couple hours. And by the time this is uploaded and all that, I expect to be uh, probably out of power and all that. So I'll see you after the storm. Um, I do have some pre-loaded videos for uh, God of War starting tomorrow. We're doing a whole series on that. It's just kind of like the road to Ragnarok. It's a no commentary uh, walkthrough of the game on, on a story mode. It's just there, basically, if you're interested in um, getting the new God of War game and playing it, and you haven't, you know, played the story for a while, well, now you can just uh, watch it instead of uh, re-downloading it and all that. It's quite a compelling story, very touching and all that. The story with Kratos and his son Atreus. Uh, love it very much. So, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications. I upload videos every day, and even with Hurricane Ian, I won't miss one now. I'll see you next time, y'all. Stay safe. Peace.